Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location. My goodness, what a beautiful, beautiful place this is. It is a uh, top of a ski mountain, or, you know, uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, whatever, you have uh, a mountain where you do skiing and snowboarding, ski mountain, it's weird, I do say that, but I don't think it's really what you call it. Oh well, whatever. Regardless, here's the lodge, there's the two chairlifts, and there's a whole nother mountain there. Now I really hope that this isn't Whistler. Um, it could be, but I don't think it is. But it could be, so if it is, I'm very sorry. I don't want it to be, but uh, you never know. I think this is going to be in France. Where? Right around, uh, right around here. I totally forget where... Um, where the real ski hills are, but we're gonna go, uh, sure, right around there. Um, that's where I think it is, but it could obviously be in North America. Um, yeah, it reminds me, reminds me of a lot of a place called Sunshine, actually, which was, well, it is, somewhere around Banff. I'm not sure where it is, Canmore, it, it's, it's somewhere, it's somewhere around here. Uh, and uh, I remember that is, that's the nicest ski mountain that I've ever skied at. It was, uh, my god, was it ever nice. It's actually near Lake Louise, but I'm not sure exactly where. Uh, but it was a, uh, re it's a really, really nice uh, ski hill. I've never been to Whistler, but one of these days I'll go. But let's find out where this is. The answer was good. It was in Europe. That's what I was hoping for. It was actually in uh, northern Italy of all things, which is very cool, um, alright, hold on a second, we're gonna get to it, here you go, whatever, alright, there you go, come on, boom, alright, so where was it, it was in northern Italy, which is actually pretty interesting, uh, that is surprising, uh, it was over here near Predazzo, alright, is there a name for this place, no, but look at it, wow, that is really Really cool. So yeah, Northern Italy. I believe I got 2450 points on that one. So awesome. Hopefully some of you guys figured that one out. All right, here we are in today's daily challenge location. A very cool mountaintop spot. We've got a guy over here. He is gazing out at the wonderful beauty that is this uh, nice mountain range. Beautiful clouds, mountains. It's uh, it's interesting. I mean, it's, these aren't snowy top mountains. No, they are hot mountains. Got some trees all the way to the top of some of these peaks. Not quite this one. This one seems to be above the tree line, which is like right over there. It's, it's pretty cool seeing a tree line. Uh, interesting. And also, even more cool than that, we've got this scary uh, ram monster. It's like a uh, evil goat beast. Maybe it's an alpine ibex. Uh, or it's a goat beast, uh, one of the two. I th I'm, I'm thinking on the side of goat beast. So, something over here, who knows what this is? Snow, maybe? White stuff, maybe? Maybe it's a train passing underneath. Ooh, that'd be nice and uh, cool. So, this is today's daily challenge, meaning it's up to you guys to tell me where in the world you think we are. All you need to do is put your guesses down in the comment section below, and in tomorrow's video's comment section, I announce the winner, the person that guesses closest. Now, there are no prizes, but there is glory to be won, so if you're interested in becoming the day's top geo-guesser, then tell me, where in the world do you think we are right now? All right, here we are in the main section of today's video, and today we've got a viewer challenge, a viewer challenge brought to us by none other than the one, the only, NYO117, that's right, NYO117. One, one, seven. Thank you so much for this challenge. Now, this one, very specific theme. Very cool one as well. We, well, I don't know. It's kind of a funny one. It's hilarious. We are going to be visiting the provincial capitals of Belgium. That's right. The provincial capitals of Belgium. It's a challenge theme I never thought we would see, but... There you go, that's what it is. So we're going to be in Belgium, of course, the points don't matter in a challenge like this. Uh, hopefully I can get them all correct. It may be very easy, maybe not, uh, but there you go. Belgium, small country, so again, I think, well, it's provincial capitals, I might be able to figure it out. Uh, I can imagine what some of them uh, may be, but alright, let's do it. Now if you're interested in creating your own custom challenge with a theme or without... You can look down at the description below to find a step-by-step -step guide on how to create your own custom challenge and how to send one to me. 
Also, you can find the link to this one so you can play along yourself. So let's get right to it. Boom! Shakalaka! We are in a beautiful city in Belgium. That is not so... Wow, look at this. Look at this really cool looking church. It's huge too. Does it go all the way back here? My god. And then there's this building. I don't know what this is. And then there's this church right here. Wow. Fantastic. Belgium. That's another place I gotta go one of these days. One of these days. Oh, this is looking familiar. This is looking familiar. For whatever reason. I don't know why. It's like if I've seen... No, maybe not. Maybe we've just seen squares like this before. I mean, there are a lot of European cities with squares relatively similar to this. So, ooh, Chinese restaurant. That's cool. What do we <clears throat> really have? We've got... Um, no, this doesn't really help. We've got a pizza hut over there. We've got lots of stuff, really. The food maker. This is a beautiful city. It's a big city. I like that. Um, it's going to be pretty hard to tell specifically where we are. People just cycling. All right, what do we got on this sign? St. Michael's and St. Michael's Kirk and St. Michael's Burg. And there's a lot of things called St. Michael. So that's something. Other than that, I don't really know what we've got. Well, all right, tickets, boot strips, all right, boot strips. Um, do we know? We don't really know where we are. I mean, I can make a guess, but I don't want to just make a guess. I want to find out specifically. Big city. It's easy to guess, like, this is going to be Brussels. Is it going to be Brussels? Well, I don't really know. Is it going to be uh, Antwerp? Maybe. Is it going to be anything else? I doubt it. I doubt that it's going to be... Maybe Ghent? Does Ghent really look like this? Okay, so what kind of churches? The churches are going to be the easiest part. St. Basques? So it's, no. Alright, I don't think we're going to be in Ghent. Those were major churches. So I, I've got to guess they would be... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to guess Brussels. The, that river is too big. That river is too big. And what does Brussels look like? Just right. Does it really look just right? It almost Ghent looked a little bit better, actually. Um, hmm, interesting. Uh, that was, hmm, maybe not. Maybe, you can look at, the, that's, that's something. Ghent? If we look over here, we can see Saint, Saint, oh, we were there. Look at that. So that's this church. You were right there. And Saint... Nicholas Kirk is the other church we saw. Okay. I don't know if that's actually the church we saw. I think it's very likely that it is. But... Uh, oh... Hmm. I thought... Well, something's a bit off about the shape of this building. But it really... I mean, it matches up so perfectly. I can't imagine that not being right. Let's make the guess. And the answer was yes. Perfect points as well. Great. Now we are, wow, that was, that was, that was Ghent. Wow, my god, that's like the third city that I would think of. In fact, I probably wouldn't remember its name if I had to think of cities in Belgium, but there it is. What do we got here? We've got, um, well, the first language is French, so Brussels... I think is a primarily French city if I had to if I had to guess the most of the population in Belgium is it is it uh, oh, I, I, is it is it German is the second language or is it Dutch I'm gonna go with Dutch she has a bigger border than it does with Germany so I'm gonna go with that um, <clears throat> let's see where are we down here we've got oh the buses actually those could help but i'm never going to catch up with them so it's not worth looking what can we see about the city it's big it's a big city uh the other one was nicer if we we have seen that um oh, we got that we've got a college or a school here it might be like a it, it might just be like uh it might just be like a 
like a like a college, uh, but it may be something like um, one of those things you do after high school. That's like not quite. Well, it's like you do before university, but I'm not really sure. It's hard to tell. I mean, educational systems are different everywhere. Um, there you go. More schools. Lots of kids. Uh, just crossing the road here. Um, we've got the buses. I really want to be able to look at them because I feel like, is this going to be a city that finally tells us? Um, okay, look at that. That's interesting. Wow, for a short bus like this to have two exits. That is interesting. Also, this is pretty funny. Um, it's uh, This is telling people that uh, get on the bus on the front, man. Too many people are trying to get on without paying by getting on the back. My God. Um, over here, the buses that we have in the city, the, the, at least the small ones like this, because there are like big accordion buses. Everyone gets on the back of those. Um, and, uh, and and even even uh, they, um, they when, whenever they stop at like at least a big stop, the buses open all of the doors on the bus so you can get on the back. And what you're supposed to do is you have like a little card and you can tap it. But really, like half the people just don't. And then the transit police come on and write you a $150 ticket for doing that. Um, and, uh, but we don't have two doors on our small buses. That seems, it almost seems excessive, really. I mean, how many people can really fit on this? Two doors. I mean, three doors, counting this one. But no one... The, the way the doors are designed on the um, on the smaller buses, you can't really jump on the back. At least it's super sketchy to do. It's not easy. Um, it's not easy to jump on the back of a smaller bus here. But again, I have no idea uh, where where we are really uh, so far. No idea. But let's see. Cameras, 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 BE Bank. Yeah, I get it. I know. I mean, I know. I know that much that we are in BE. Uh, oh, okay. Hold on. This might help us. We got some signs. What do they say? They say, uh, Kennedy. Okay, and Ulg twentieth of August. How big can this be? The city that we're in. I mean, I almost don't believe it that the, that it would be this city. Like, really? Come on now. This looks like a small place. This... Oh, my God. That is... It could be here. Do I think it's this city? Um, not really. I don't really think that that's it. But other than that, I don't really have that much to go on. And I don't think it's Brussels. Although it could be. It could be Brussels. It's just... It's just hard to say. I'm going to go with it's not Brussels, and I'm going to go with, um, could be this one too. Do I think it's that one? I'm going to say, I'm going to say no, and we're going to go right here. We're going to say we're in this city, and we were, didn't really see any roundabouts, so we're going to go right there, make the guess, and the answer was no. Ah, uh, okay. We were in... We were in Liège, right over here. All right, all right, there you go. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Didn't get it right, didn't see it. Well, that's too bad, 33.94. Good question about where we are now. This city, oh, okay, this is fam is it familiar? God, I think we've seen this building before, but no, we've just seen a building with lots of flags on it, but it wasn't this one. My God. I think that I think the country that we saw with lots of flags on it country city that we saw with lots of flags on it was also in um was also in Belgium. This is this is going to be Antwerp if I had to make a guess as to where it's going to be. I have no idea, but sure. What do we have? Uzards. Well, may, is that a, is that a place? I, I don't know. I have no idea. We can look around and see, do we see something? Can we go down here? Is there anything interesting down there? Not really. Um, is there anything? Nothing that we can really see. I think we're going to be there at one point, but I don't think that's where we are now. We can look around. We can look around for sure. L Ooh, wow, look at this place. That's pretty good. It's pretty... All right, when well, we get some streets, unfortunately for me, this is pretty tricky. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I saw it. I think I saw the name. 
Yep, right there. There it is. That is right. We were in Antwerp. Fantastic. Now what we got to do is figure out where we were in the beginning. So let's return to start location. Because this is a big, it's a, it's a major church in the city. And it's on a huge square as well. So do we have, do we see a major, major church on a very big square? We've got this one and it's, it's not really on its own square. Um, we've got to look around and we got to see this one. No. Major church. This the one. No. Museum. Zoom in once. We can see the church. Like this one, it could be that one. Very well could be. And I think it might be crazy for us to be any further outside of town than that. This church, like, it does look like it. Over here. Then we've got this thing. There's some McDonald's here, apparently. Is there? And this big entrance there. Paint shop. I don't know what the, what that is, and then there's all sorts of things. Hmm, you're not quite right about that place. Is there somewhere else we can see? There, no, that's still not good. Hmm, hmm, very curious. Very curious indeed, and I can't really find it. So we are somewhere. I mean, currently my best guess is that we are, that we are sort of like right here, but... I'm not really I'm not really convinced that uh, that we're there. So if I go south, although I shouldn't go south, I should turn to start location and I sh the direction I should go is I should go east uh, because if I go if I go in yeah if I go east I'm I'm gonna find the water so down this road which is actually quite a major road and we end up. Over here, it, oh, oh, Lord, we ended up right, oh, come on, get me, oh, all right. We ended up at this. That's a big monument. Interesting. So we went east, which was this way from there. So, and we ended up at, we ended up at like a rather sizable thing east of, Oh lord, this is this is far too confusing. Well, unfortunately, I'm going to click right there. That's going to be it. What? Oh, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. We weren't in Antwerp. Well, that sign lied to us. Those bastards. Okay, that explains a lot. Well, what do we got here? Because when you're in the right city, it seems to be a lot easier to find where you are based on roads. So that clearly... Okay, we're in a smaller city. We know that much. I don't know very many provincial capitals. I'm going to have to be honest. Um, all right. Um, Railroad Street is what we're on. Or Iron Road Street, but fairly certain that just means railroad in a weird way. Um, there's the railroad. Do we have some signs? Well, all right. What do we got here? These are the cities that are that way. These are the cities that are north of us. So, north of us are Brussels, are this one, and are... I don't exactly know where the other one is. North of us are... What are the odds that this city right here is this one? I say the odds are 50-50. And this is, this is like the... Dutch and or German way of spelling it, and that this is the French way of spelling it. Uh, all signs point to us being in this city right here, and all signs point to how many roundabouts do we have? Do we well? Do we have train tracks? We do. All signs don't really point to us being in that city, though. They don't. I want us to be here, but I don't really think we are. Um, we could be in. We could be in somewhere else. We could be here in this city. And then we've got... We've got just stuff. 
that's okay. We can go here and see Grand Play, Saint Street, all this stuff. I mean, that makes sense. Or we could be there. Or we could be in Mons. I mean, do I think we're there? Wow, look at those train tracks. Now, that's a lot of tracks. Interesting. Interesting, interesting indeed. I have no idea. We're going to be in one of these cities. One of these cities around here. All right, which one are we in? We are in... We are in... Good question. Um, can I see some signs maybe somewhere? Let's keep going forward. Maybe eventually we're going to get something. No idea. It is a beautiful area, though. That is, that's the great part. I mean, in Belgium, what a beautiful country this is. Doesn't really tell us. I mean, it probably does tell us where that where we are, but we can't see the side of the van. So that's too bad. Vans often tell you where you are. Wow, look at that. A tractor right in town. Is there some kind of protest going on? Usually is the only time you do. Um, I can not see. Oh, hold on. Let's see. What are the directions? Oh, Wavre, Wavre. That's where we are. Where is that? Ah, oh, there it is. So we were somewhere like we were somewhere like right there. Let's make the guess, and the answer was indeed we were somewhere like exactly right there on the roundabout. Fantastic, sixty-four seventy-eight. When you can find the right place, it's easy to figure out where you are. It's just when you don't know it that things go bad. Okay. Well, now we don't have French, so I can't read things. That's too bad. Uh, but what else can we see? You've got pictures of jewelry and... What's going on? Something about, something about this picture looks a, a bit bizarre. But... Maybe I'm just wrong. It's just two people walking. There you go. Uh, we've got people over there. Oh, look at that. It's like a little art installation. Okay. A McDonald's. We've got a... We've got a... we got a big... Well, something. It's a big something, indeed. Wow, look at that thing. What does this say? This says... Okay. If this is an Antwerp, then we've got some serious issues. But... I'm fairly certain that it is. And it says central. Oh, wow, look at this. Wow, that's cool. All right. There you go. You go here, stay at the Radisson Blue, and you can check out all this nice area. Wow, that is a pretty nicely located hotel, too. It doesn't look the nicest on the outside, but I'm sure on the inside it's just fine. Okay, so we've got this now. Oh, my God, look at this. Is that just for buses? It gives you times like that? My god, that's cool. You don't see that too often. Well, at least you don't see that too often here. Or maybe it's for, like, streetcars or something like that. Maybe that makes a little bit more sense, but... Man, it's very rare that you see uh, proper bus times here on uh, on something. But we are getting a light rail system here in the city soon, so that's gonna be... It's gonna be pretty sweet once that happens. Okay, this time, Antwerp, it's where we are. Don't you worry. Well, I know you're not, but I was. And the real question is, where the heck were we? What are the odds we were there? It's probably low. What are the odds we were here? It's maybe. I don't know. It's hard. To t it's really hard to tell where you are. Actually, I don't know if we even saw a church. So we're gonna go look for like a building. All right, it's a big building. But right, we got this one. Sort of a square in front of it. And then, I don't know where the Radisson is in that picture. So, there's this. And that's possible that we were there too. But, I don't really think so. Go see Mode Museum. No, I don't think that's the case. What about this thing? Mm, that's not what we saw. What did we see? We can go look at this building, but I don't think that's where we are. Huh. What does this say? That says that. Do we have any idea 
where that would be. It would be here, somewhere. And it would be on a big road. Um, does anywhere zoo? No, I don't think we're going to be there. Okay, we're not going to be that far out of the city. We're going to be right in the middle somewhere. But it's going to be tricky. Some more museums, a photo museum, uh, an expo, a plaza. Hmm, what section of town are we in? Where's the water? The water's east. Okay, so let's go let's go east until we hit the water. So we gotta go around this giant, giant building. I mean it looks wow, it is huge. What if okay, it's really big. Um so there's something special about this building that I am kind of grossly underestimating. So what what is this? This is like some kind of ancient thing, isn't it? Like is there some kind of like castle walls around here somewhere? What well, we do, we kind of have these over here, but is that what we're really seeing? I'm thinking we're seeing like maybe what a zoo. Is there one down in the center of the city? No. Not there. You go down this way. That was really interesting. It was something quite big. Uh, and we're going further and further east. And we still haven't hit the water. So I'm going to say east, east. Either we're across the water. And that's just that's just something that we have to deal with. And we're never going to find our way out of here. Or we're somewhere around over here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to say that we just witnessed, I have no idea, it's too hard to tell, uh, that we were somewhere like right here. Let's make the guess, and the answer was, we were actually over here, close to the zoo. Do we have any idea what that building we just saw was? Was it this thing? Base flagship store, was it this thing? I don't know. Antwerp Tower? Was it something around here? I have no idea. But there you go, 6301. Okay. Well, there you go. 268839. Uh, 28, we were started off in Ghent. Then we went to Liège. Then we went to um, Leuven, I guess, is where we were. Then we went to Wavre. Then we went to Antwerp. Very nice. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one. Bye.